And what happened was I had a guy come into the studio, he was a singer actually, his name was Joe or something, Joe Hill, I think. And he came to the studio a month before, and I said, this is a, a, a box, just not too dissimilar to that, but take it up. I want you to save it back to your house, guard it with your life, make sure no one comes near it, and come back in in a month's time. And uh, he came again with this, and he did this. I also tweeted something, which did this, the day before. And what ended up happening is there was a huge uproar because people just started assuming the lottery was rigged in some way or other. So I'm saying this is a trick. I probably would still be here if I knew how to predict the lottery <laughs> because I love you guys so dear. But uh, this is this relies on a lot, particularly this. Because what happens is I come on stage in the first half of the show and I get four people up on stage and I get them stuck to the floor or get how to read. But I pepper stuff in. I say stuff like, if I ask you to think of the number between one and ten, you think of the number you think of the number seven. And now I've said the number seven, you now think of the number three. You say stuff like that, it, this is not hundred percent bang on. Uh, and some days it doesn't go well. But most of the time I can throw enough things into the first half of the show that when I ask six people to chase them around them, to give me six numbers, they give me numbers without really having a reason. What happens is, they, you end up post-rationalizing. If, if you say the number 33, your brain goes, well, my favorite number's three, please don't those two and two together. Or it's the house I lived on in 10 years. It doesn't really matter, but sometimes people's brains have a bit of a rationalization to it. Do me a favor, if you stand there for me, Kevin, don't do anything just yet. Beginning of this half of the show, I took two balls and I threw them into the audience. They went to two random people. Those two random people then threw the balls to two more random people via the back of people's heads on the ceiling, it turns out. <laughs> and then two more <laughs> random people. We've got six numbers at random. You know, Joe, I point your number very loud, very clear. Say what your number is. 34, 02, 25, 18, 33, This is a microphone for you, Kevin. I need you to bear it. Let me grab you the other microphone if it's still around. Because that way we can hear you both you and I. You can stay standing in the middle. This is for you. I need you to verify a couple of things. Uh, stand in the middle. Face the front. Face the table. First things first. What is it you have in your hand? Uh, English level ticket. That is the right answer. But more importantly, it's not handwritten. It's been bought from a shop. Printed, uh, correct. Um, here's what happens. On the way to the show every show, or in this case, yesterday on the way to the airport, I go to an off-license and I buy a lottery ticket. When I did Edinburgh last year, I did 26 shows, 26 days in a row. Yeah, take time. 26 shows, 26 days in a row, I had to buy 26 lottery tickets. And the guy went, are you alright? But this is, today's Wednesday, this is the lottery ticket for tonight's lottery draw. If these numbers come in though, it will be a little scammer <laughs> Uh, here's the here's the deal. If these numbers come in, you and I are going halves. That's the first thing I say. I need you to verify a couple of things. Not only is this a lottery ticket, with Barker, or whatever, yeah, it's got six numbers, six two-digit numbers written there. Yes. Yeah. So then, <laughs> out loud, one at a time, I would like you to read what those numbers are. Zero to eighteen. 25, 33, 34, and 47. I'm just going to get the camera back up so we can just about just see this. The number 2, the number 18, the number 25, the number 33, the number 34, and the number 47. That is a gift for you, my friend. Give it a huge round of applause. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content.